I am actually in the International Space Station, or I guess a replica. I got Mark Fernandez from HP. Thanks for inviting us down. Glad you could be here. So why am I in a space station right now? Because we've taken a supercomputer and placed it on the International Space Station. We did that for a couple of reasons. One, we, NASA has a phrase, we need to know before we go. And before we go to Mars, we need to know if the astronauts can survive the trip, if we've got enough plant life with us. And by the way, will our computers make the trip and survive the harsh aspects of space? And so we have a one year long experiment on the International Space Station to put commodity off the shelf hardware in the space station so that they can take the latest and greatest with them on that journey. How's it going so far? So far it's going better than most people expected. <laughs> <coughs> we had a successful launch. Yeah. Uh, many predicted that the dims inside the computer would fly loose on, on launch and, and tear up everything. That didn't happen. Many predicted that our one month stay in the unprotected coldness of the Dragon spaceship would cause electronics to get fried and, and not respond. That didn't happen either. So your gear is actually up in space right now? Our gear is actually up in space, and here's a tidbit, it's actually in the ceiling of the International Space Station. Unlike data centers here on Earth where we have two rows of racks of equipment, yeah. if they're weightless, you can also put them in the ceiling. You can put them anywhere. You can put them anywhere you want. So what are we, what are we looking at here? So this we call our Spaceborne Computer Dashboard. It contains a visual of where the International Space Station is currently located. It also includes what are called the, the mission elapsed time clocks. So it tells me it's been 308 days since I launched. I've been up in operation 278 days, and I've been around the world 4,490 times. Wow. Down here is actually what's going on inside the computer, the actual processing. And it tells me not only what it's doing and if it's doing it correctly. So we monitor this. I, this is a live down link from the International Space Station. I get my information updates every five seconds. Very cool. So what's next? If this is successful, where do you go from here? What's next are two things. Number one, the learnings that we've uh, obtained from putting this computer in this harsh environment on the edge may in fact be put into HPE earthly products and make them more robust and more reliable for our, our current customers. Secondly, we're planning for mission number two and what we want to put inside of our locker that's been approved for flight. So we've got an approved locker ready to rock and roll and we can take the latest and greatest information technology with us, COTS commercial off the shelf, unmodified. So I'm looking forward to that. Very cool. Well, I'm excited to see what happens in the future. Mark Fernandez from HP. I guess people call you the Space Cowboy? <laughs> no, sir. They Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no, they will now. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.